I'd like to do a part for you, a round draw part, that's got both a conical feature as well as a reverse draw. So I'll start drawing the part from scratch using SolidWorks inferencing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here we'll draw the reverse draw part. We'll model the reverse draw part. And some of you may not know that you can drag back to the start point or the end point of the line and an arc will start. We'll offset that geometry and cap the ends with two lines. Draw a construction line and revolve it. So all of that is just plain SolidWorks, of course. <clears throat> and there we've got our conical reverse drawn cup. Save it. There we go. And click on round draw part, logo press three. That fast it processed the entire part. And I've got it set right now to aluminum. Let's look at the preview on the feeding direction. We can preview both in the feeding direction and in the unstamping direction or reverse from the end forward. And in the next version, we'll be out shortly, we're able to preview the stages entering the die. Very, very neat. And we'll add a trim stock for the for the carrier to be attached to. Validate, and what was graphical becomes solids. <clears throat> and let's look at the various. The various configurations that are automatically created. And every one of these has an identical amount of mass or volume. There's the part falling out of the die and the scrap ring. Let's create a strip layout. Set the configurations. And save it in this folder. Project name. And save. And this part takes about a minute or so on my laptop. You can see in the upper right there where it's created the assembly file and on the left in the feature manager over here you can see that we've got lots of stuff going on already in the feature manager tree very very automated lots of stuff going on As you've probably heard in other videos, LogoPress has had the round draw functionality in their 2D software for 18 years now. And we show the stamping force and the stripper force. All the parts are arranged in the strip.
ton of work. We can change to a three out part very quickly. There we are. And of course we can easily set the progression and width as well. And here we've got a die that's probably well over 60 inches long. No, nope, 80 inches long. So again, I hope you can see where that would save you a whole bunch of time. Thanks for watching.